I think we've had a fantastic opportunity today to bring a huge number of people from the creative and cultural community in the city together to share uh, a series of briefings from the lead funders of the Department of Culture, Media and Sport and to really understand what it is that we need to be doing more of and better uh, to improve Portsmouth's chances of securing funding but also to make sure that we're delivering for the communities that we're also heavily embedded in. I think it's true that Portsmouth hasn't had its fair share of the cake from funders. We struggle uh, to get what we would perceive to be our fair crack of the whip and I think that's actually why we are a priority place for the Arts Council. But I think it's also to do with the fact that Portsmouth's got an incredibly resilient creative community. So when people don't get project grants they find a way to do it anyway. So I think one of the great things about today is for those representatives of those uh, partner agencies to government to be able to come and see some of us, hear from us, find out what it is that we're all doing week in, week out. So I'm not saying Portsmouth's the perfect place, but, but you've got to live in a city and get immersed in it. And I think we've got an amazing cultural and creative community here. As far as Portsmouth's potential goes, I think it's, it's greatest opportunity is for everyone to come out of their sort of hunkered down silos where they're beavering away trying to make stuff happen for themselves and actually sort of helicopter up and see what everybody else is doing but if they joined forces together so you had really experienced youth workers getting into some of those hardest to reach parts of our you know most deprived areas in the city and working hand in glove with creatives who can really inspire those young people I think we can do something phenomenal here. I really do think it's a huge opportunity, but that's about people who care deeply about young people in Portsmouth and changing their aspirations, working with our finest creatives to be able to stir things up and really give people a different view of the future than the one that they, maybe they've got at the moment.